uh, Jeff Spivak, Democrat and Chronicle, John, John Nugent. Nugent, Rochester Jazz Fest. We got news. First, Club Pass. What's going on? Well, the Club Passes have been on sale for a little while, and for those who've never been to the Jazz Fest or experienced the Club Pass, it's a value ticket. So what you do is you buy a pass or buy a ticket in advance, and we exchange it for what you wear around your neck. And it's an all-access pass for nine days or a three-day pass, which you can pick whatever days you want to go. And we bring in uh, over 120 bands from all over the world, from New York, from Rochester, from across the country, from overseas, Scandinavia, the UK, um, and different parts of the world. And these artists all come here, and they get to play in front of fabulous audiences in our town. And uh, it's a great experience, the Club Pass, in that you can go here as many shows as you want. Uh, that your feet will allow you to carry from venue to venue, and it's a first-come, first-served type of situation. And when it comes to the club pass, I always tell people, if you've ever gone to a club in New York City or a club in L.A., or usually the artists that we bring in are playing in those clubs in New York, and it's quite expensive to go to a club and hear a band and have a two-drink minimum, and if you're living in Rochester, you got to fly there and pay for a hotel. So we have it here all on a one pass situation and you can hear as much music as you want and we have all styles, something for everybody. It's a really great experience and it's a great value. Yeah. How did the uh, last year, last summer, you tried out to experiment with uh, 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 handing out wristbands beforehand, Yes. cut down on the lines? Absolutely, yeah. There, there are a couple of venues that do att attract uh, a lot of people because they're right in the heart of the festival on Jazz Street and that's Kilbourne Hall and Max of Eastman Place. And so, because people come early and line up because they want to get in and it's, it's the first come, first serve situation, we, uh, we had people come in, they could get a wristband at 4 o'clock and go away. And just like boarding an airline, uh, you show up at 5.30, 5.35, 5.40, and the wristband holders would come in and you could still wait in line. So it just eases congestion and gives people a chance to go ahead and, and drink. And it's coming back? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, that right. was really well received and it worked great. All right, and the club pass, uh, the... Uh, uh, less expensive price expires New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. Well, 1st of January, midnight. Right. Yeah, okay. when it turns right. clock. Right. right now, it's of good value. It's $174 plus $6 service charge, so $180 for a nine-day pass. So if you do the math, if you're going to go to more than nine concerts, you're, you're paid, you've paid for your pass. You don't have to have a pass. You can pay at the door. And the more you go, the less the cost per show. Mm -hmm. And that's where the value lies. So. People uh, sometimes, I've heard people take in 30 to 40 shows over the nine days, yeah. and even more, yeah, mm, and yeah. even more. And, and you, can, you don't have to stay for the whole show. Mm -hmm. You can, if the music doesn't fit your taste, you can get up and go to another venue, and we program it so there is all kinds of music from all the different mm -hmm. styles of creative improvised music, jazz being our core music, with funk and R&B and New Orleans artists and big band and some special groups and some really neat packages, and this year, uh, all the same venues will be back. We're bringing back the Lyric Theater again for some special shows. And we've got a couple of really, really great, great shows going to be in the Lyric Theater. All that will be announced on March 21st. Okay, you've got two headliners already. Mm -hmm. Cheryl Crow, Mavis Staples. Two bona fide legends. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl is just, uh, well, nine or ten Grammy Awards, I think. And mm -hmm. she still brings it. She's got a great show, great band, really great entertainer. And, of course, the legendary Mavis Staples. Mm -hmm who was just honored at the White House uh, for the Kennedy Center Awards by uh, President Obama. And she's really one of the American icons of uh, mm. gospel and soul music, for sure. Right yeah. up there with Aretha, in my opinion. Mm. Grammy Award nominations just announced. Uh, what is it? Best Instrumental Album nominee is uh, Steve Gadd's show recorded live here oh, yeah. in 2015. Yep. Speaks to the uh, caliber of music. Yeah, absolutely. And Steve was a gem to work with. He had a great band. Actually, uh, spent a lot of time with him that week. And he loves coming home. And it was really great that uh, James Taylor was able to be there for that show, even though he's not on the video uh, that they recorded. But uh, he's, he was in that concert. And uh, that was a special night. And I think it's uh, Live Back Home is the name of the uh, way, way Back, back home. home. Way Back Home. And it's, it's, you can purchase it at Amazon. And uh, Mark and I were really proud to be able to uh, put that together with mm -hmm. Steve and make that a special 70th birthday tribute. Right. Okay, uh, you can see uh, more about Jazz Fest on democratandchronicle.com. Absolutely.